and welcome back to my channel so today I've got more of a chilled video and I feel like I've said that in like past few video but this one is so I thought I'd do a monthly favourites because I haven't actually done a monthly favourites in such a long time and I feel like I've gathered quite a few bits that I'm really enjoying at the minute so I thought this would be the perfect video to show them all that's currently why my background here is covered in stuff because it's just up there waiting to be shown but the first things that I thought I'd start with is skincare because I feel like I've discovered quite a few skincare bits in the past few months that I've really enjoyed using and I've really cleared my skin up because I went for a patch where my skin just kept breaking out and I couldn't figure out why and looking back now I think it was the skincare that I was using because it wasn't like it didn't remove enough of my makeup at night time and have to go in with quite a few products at the same time so one of the first things they're still like from the same brands as what I used before but they're different products so normally I would use just my cellar water to get all my makeup off and then I would use like a gel cleanser I think they're called if you watch my skincare routine from a few months ago you'll see I use the soap and glory vitamin C one and I don't think it was quite thick enough to get all my makeup off so I bought this to try about I'd say probably say two months ago sorry it's just got a hair bubble on it's from the bathroom and this is the Peaches and Clean 4-in-1 Deep Cleansing Milk. And it says it melts makeup away from your skin. Now the reason I actually got this wasn't because at the time I wanted to try new skincare. I went in to buy the Vitamin C one and it was free for two and I needed a moisturiser at the time. So it just kind of worked out that I got this free. So I didn't really think much of it because I know this was raved about quite a while ago. Uh, but I just thought I'd try it. So what it said you had to do was apply it to a dry face and rub it in with your makeup on your face. And I was thinking, surely that can't work. Then you run a cloth under warm water and then wipe it away. And it's supposed to just take your makeup off. Can I just say, I get in the shower with a full face of makeup on, rub this on my dry skin, wash it off with a cloth, and all my makeup is gone. It's literally insane. Then I'll normally go over with a bit of my cellar water and then like do the rest of my skincare routine. But this is actually such a good way. I feel like if you use um, cotton wool pads first and it just kind of moves all the makeup around your skin. And I feel like that's how my skin was breaking out. But this is insane. If you haven't tried this and you want something to remove your makeup off. It is quite a thick feeling. I'm not a huge fan of the feel of it. But it smells like peaches and it works really, really well. So if you've seen this, like me, I always see it, but I never tried it. Pretty good. And I think skincare in Soap and Glory is free for two in boots. I think it's always free for two now, but I'll leave it down below along with everything I show. And on the same front as that, I really wanted to find a new night moisturiser because I was just using the same day or night. And like I said, I don't feel like my skin was getting enough love. So I tried this one out and this is actually my third part now. So if that doesn't say something then, no, this is my second part. I need a third is what I was meant to say. So this is the Simple Skin Quench, is it called? Skin Quench Sleeping Cream. So it's supposed to really hydrate your skin. This is so, so good. So if you know me, I like really thin moisturisers that feel more like water on your face. And Simple brought out a range called Water Boost. Now, I first saw this on Sarah Ashcroft's channel, and I know that she did a sponsored video, but she said she really, really enjoyed the products. And everything she uses is just pretty much insane. Like, she's the one who got me onto Bondi Sand, so shout to her. Um, and this is like a gel, so if I just show you the inside, I am nearly out. It's almost like a gel. And it just sinks into your skin so nicely and I feel like I wake up and my skin is never dry, never tight and it just works really well along with that cleanser. So these are the two new kind of skincare bits that I've really been getting into at the minute and I feel like my skin has completely cleared up with using these. So maybe if you're going through the same trouble as me, I feel like your skin's just not getting enough love. These are really good and they are both really affordable. Seems I was on about Bondi Sand sticking to that same theme. I know this has been in so many of my favourites, which you're probably thinking, Megan, why are you showing us this again? I know this is the tan you've used. A few people have actually asked me what tan I've used, so this is it, Bondi Sands Ultra Dark. Insane, literally my ride or die. But the reason it's in this month's favourite is because it could be in every month, to be fair, because it is my favourite of all time. But I used dark, I bought a dark, and then used the Bondi Sands Dark. Keep saying dark, stop it, Megan. 
but I used that and it just made me appreciate the ultra dark so much more. I feel like once you go ultra dark, you can't go back to dark because it's just not the same. Like I prefer the ultra dark so, so, so much more. Like every time I was putting the dark on, the same day I would apply ultra dark on top because it just wasn't dark enough for me. So if you're looking for a tan and you don't think dark is ever dark enough, try this because it's insane and i just found a new appreciation for after using dark and it made me realize how much i love this so that's why it's in this again but i know i always i'm talking about this but it's just the best there was actually one more skincare thing that i was supposed to add into that but it was just sat on the side and i forgot about it and that is the sun ives blemish control apricot scrub now i had one of these years ago and i just kept it for such a long time which is so bad but this is actually a new one, don't worry. And it says it helps prevent blemishes and minimise pores. Now, I don't know whether you know, I think I've said it in quite a few of my videos actually, but I have quite bad pores, like they're more enlarged and the only thing that gets rid of them is Benefit Professional and you just can't see them when I put makeup on top. But I've been using this and it's actually minimised my pores so, so much. And I feel like that's also what helped get rid of my blemishes because it says it does. And just a mix of three skincare things are really good. And like I said, they're all really affordable. I always buy this in Asta. It's like a supermarket here in the UK if you're not from the UK. Because um, it's always the cheapest in there. And it's just so good. And it smells like apricots. It's so nice. Um, and I know that my brother's also been sealing this in the shower. So if you're watching this, don't come for my scrub. Because you're not having any. But yeah, really good. It is actually, um, there's like an exfoliation factor on the back. And out of low, medium, high, this is high. If you don't like a scrubby scrub, that doesn't make sense. If you don't like a really scrubby scrub, so like a really harsh one, you're not going to like this. So if you've got sensitive skin, I don't know whether I'll probably use this one. I know they do do one for sensitive skin. My skin is reasonably sensitive, but this has never affected me. But you just have to try it for yourself. On to the next thing. Now, this is such a random one compared to like all the rest of the things I've chose. Is a pair of shoes. Now, I bought these when I was in Liverpool. Liverpool? Yeah, Liverpool. Um, and the Primark in Liverpool is literally insane. If you've never been in the Primark in Liverpool, get yourself there if you ever go to Liverpool. Because it is, like, ages away from me. But we went, like, for the for the night. I vlogged it, I think. So I'll leave it down below. I bought these shoes in Primark. I saw somebody on Instagram wear them and asked them where they got their shoes from. They're like, oh, they're just from Primark. And they just don't look like they're from Primark. So I should probably actually show you the shoe instead of keep going on about it. These are the shoes, so they're almost like sock, well they're not almost, they are, they are sock boots and then they got a pointy toe, just trying to make sure we're in shot here. Um, it has got quite a big heel but they're actually really really comfy. So I wore these to Aston Marigold the other week, I didn't actually vlog that, I filmed a few clips like on my Instagram stories and stuff but I didn't vlog it. I wore these to Aston Marigold and if you don't already know I'm so sure, I'm 4 foot 10. So everyone always tells me how short I am, don't worry. But I'm actually really short. So these come in handy at concert when it's standing, so otherwise I can't see. So that was the first time I wore them. Chris in the minute concert, you know me, that's like typical me. But I really like these and I feel like they go with so many things. Like even with jumper and leggings, I feel like they really dress it up. So yeah, I really like these. I think they were about, I want to say £12. They're really cheap. I think they're only twelve pounds. Then I went to the till and they only charged me nine or something like that. I can't remember. I have a receipt to hand because I bought them about how long ago is that? We we're in Liverpool. I want to say about a month, maybe. I don't know, but yeah, these are the shoes. And I know it's a bit of a random one in with a mix, but thought I'd just add them in. The last two things I have are makeup because I feel like it's not one of my favourite videos if we don't have makeup in there because that's a vibe. And I always seem to buy new makeup every month which is so bad for my bank balance, but so good for me. So the first thing I have is something more affordable, um, and that's the MUA Sun Kissed Bronze. Now, I use this in a few of my videos. I always use it as a bronzer topper, and then it is really dark, and they only sell one shade, so if you're quite pale, then this probably isn't going to work for you. So as you can see, it just says MUA on the top. This is actually a brand new one. I've not used it yet, so that is extremely satisfying, because the packaging is, like, not rubbed off. Because if I showed you my other one, you're not next to this, you're just not going to be able to deal. But this is £1 from Superdrug. And like I said, if you're pale, probably not going to work for you. Or even if you've got a lighter skin tone than me, 
not going to work for you because I feel like this is about the right skin tone for me. So if you have like fake tan um, on, if you have a darker skin tone, like a medium skin tone, this might work for you a lot better than it would with someone with a light skin tone. But like I said, I use it as a bronzer topper. So I use like a lighter bronzer contour shade first, go over this and I just think it looks really like warm tone. So I used to hate warm tone bronzers, but I really, really like this. So even if you it doesn't suit you it's one pound so even if you try it out and you don't like it like it's a pound at the end of the day but yeah definitely go try this because i just bought it on a bit of a whim i just added it to my super drug basket one day and I actually this is my second one now so there you go my last and final thing which i actually bought this month this is the doll light well from doll beauty so it's the doll beauty highlight basically i didn't know how to word that one then um, and I've used this in quite a few of my videos recently and it seems to be the only highlighter that I'm reaching for at the moment so that I say some in itself because I love highlight. Um, this is in the shade Shine Bright. They have like a diamond and shine bright and it's only because I watched a video the other day that I realised it went shine bright like a diamond. Is it just me that never figured that one? Probably because that's just typical me but I thought that was pretty cool how they named them. It's £15 and it is just insane. I think it's as good of so many high-end ones. I think it's probably better. It's just like, I've used it in my last video if you want to see. But it's so bright, like it says, it's called Shine Bright. And it just doesn't look chunky of glitter on your face. I've got it on right now, actually. I don't know if you'll be able to see because the lighting's gone. But it just looks... It just looks incredible. They sell these online on Beauty Bay, but... They are hardly ever in stock, not gonna lie, because they just sell out so fast when they come back. They sell them on the Doll Beauty website and they also sell them, I don't know if they'll sell them near where you live, but they sell them in Topshop stores. So I bought mine from the Ball Ring because that's the only place that I found they're in stock and that's the closest one to me. But I know they have um, quite a lot of stands in Topshop everywhere. So if you go on their Instagram, I'll leave it down below because their lashes, their highlight, their everything is just insane. Like that's one brand that I'm obsessed with. Literally, they might just take their money because that's where my money because that's where half my money goes. Yeah, if I have a stand near you, they put all their top shop stands. Like I think it's on their story, like you know the highlights bit. So even if you just go on their page, you'll be able to see whether they've got a stand near you. But if they do, that I think that's probably the easiest place to get them. They don't sell all their stars of lashes on their stands. I feel like lashes are better to get off falseeyelashes.co.uk. But yeah, at the end of this video, like I said, it's a lot more chilled. The sun is actually just about to set. I don't know if you can see on my light box in the background. In fact, I do actually want to change that to something else. If, you, if anybody has any recommendations of what to put on the light box, let me know. Apart from that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week for a new video. Bye, dolls. Won't change a thing now, there was never tried. Don't you say a word cause I've heard it all You were just a pain when you felt it all oh. Something tells me that I won't miss it It's a fact